Hi, this is Cass from Aussie Cass Plays, and welcome to part 17 of my Runaway Teen Challenge. Casey was minding her own business, tending her garden like she normally does, um, organising slight extensions to her kitchen, when Olivia, Kim Lewis, and Hilda oh. kind of showed up. Oh. Olivia called, and because we have a phone now, oh. we were able to say, sure, come over. Oh. Um, I'll just quickly show you, we got the extra little bit of green cupboard and she has an indoor sink now. She's really moving up in the world, it's very exciting. The bills also came in, they were like 160 simoleons, and she actually had enough to pay them, which is very exciting. I've been trying to remember where she met Olivia, and I can't. I don't know if it was at one of the, you know, one of her attempted kind of going out on the town or yeah I can't remember maybe they knew each other as teens let's tell her a funny story express admiration and we're gonna boast about the catch again and I'd like to get to know her apparently I already know that she's goofball Let's have a look. I don't understand why I have unknown traits with Hilda. Uh, goofball, unknown trait, unknown trait. So, we'll see. Of course, I haven't started recording at the best time. Oh, she's jealous. Because she's getting tired. But still, that's alright. So, she's put a few extra plants in her garden. Um, we've got... Um, some extra blackberries and all this kind of stuff. We also planted the cow plant. I put it towards the front of the lot because I'm planning on expanding the house out and I didn't want to um, put the cow plant somewhere I shouldn't have, but I'm very excited about the cow plant. Um, jealous, not the best trait. Let's gossip with her. I was just debating whether or not she's a very cute sim, but she might be a little bit high maintenance in terms of like a partner or something. Look at her. She looks a bit rude actually. Was she, um, yeah, I don't remember. Let's ask her if she's single. Oh, are you going for a run? Oh well, never mind then. Bye. See you later, rando. I kind of want Casey to have, I don't know, I wanted to have a relationship with someone, but I'm not super invested in whether it's a boy or a girl. <gasps> oh, look, we're back to being neutral. Turns out being nice to Olivia was all we needed to do. Um, obviously, her relationship, her friendship with Hilda is super, super strong. But, I mean, these guys have known each other since they were little kids. I feel like they'd be... Um, it would be weird. It would be like going out with a relative. So I don't think that there'd be anything there between the two of them. Um, certainly Alan and Floyd I don't feel like there's a spark with. Aside from anything else, they all hate kids, which is not ideal. So, yeah, we'll see. I might skip ahead since poor Casey's decided to go to bed. I'll touch base with you guys soon. Alright, it's 1am and our little night owl has just gotten out of bed, so she's going to get herself some breakfast? Dinner? I suppose technically breakfast. Um, oh, she has a sore back from a cheap mattress. I'm sorry Casey, but a new bed's going to cost you like two grand. We're just going to have to deal with air beds for now, I'm afraid. Um... I don't really have any specific plans. I was mainly thinking it would be cool to expand the house a little, but she needs to do a lot of work to get that money. Um, like, I mean, in theory, I've got quite a lot of flowers in here that she could sell, but, like, for example, that stack is worth a thousand simoleons. But I just... Then she won't have anything to make into flower arrangements, so... Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like that's a great life choice. Although, are they in season? The chrysanthemums? I don't think they are. No, they're out of season at the moment. So I don't really want to um, blow all her chrysanthemums on. Although, 
Hmm. Do I actually have any Propic Chrysanthemums? I'm curious now. Snapdragon! I do! These ones are out of season because they're based on bluebells, in which case, if these are currently in season, I can get more of them. Which means we can do this. Boom! 1,000 simoleons. And if the snapdragons are also in season, we can do this. Means she won't be, um... She won't be crafting, like crafting anything with those flowers until next time she can harvest but that shouldn't take too long all right I in that case am going to do a little home makeover all right guys I've done a little bit of a home makeover um just got the roof sorted out and she's got like double the living space and also her grapevine apparently has increased to nice quality which I did ages ago so that's her new little home I'm pretty happy with that obviously there's a lot to do um, in terms of decor and stuff but now she actually has an option to do something for fun where are you going I don't remember telling you to do that oh yes I did <laughs> ages ago I told her to come out here and fertilize her cow plant and then promptly forgot about it all right now, the trick with owning a house, Casey, is you have to keep it clean. So, we're going to watch Lost Dog's Journey Home. And I'm also going to move my little cow plant up a little bit closer to the house. My new little cowy friend. It's very exciting. She doesn't have a lot of money. Like, she's flat broke now. But that's okay. Because, you know, house. Look, house with like a roof and stuff. Love it. She does need some um, pillars and stuff, but that's okay. We can't all have everything we want all at once. Okay, so she's sat down, watched a movie. Now she's apparently doing sit-ups and she's feeling twitchy because she wants to swipe something. It's quite annoying how that bug hasn't gone away. I assume it's just because I edited her traits to get rid of the kleptomaniac trait. But, yeah, it just bugs me that it hasn't disappeared. Alright, we are going to harvest some flowers. Looks like everything's suddenly grown all at once. Um, see what we can sell. And maybe I can finish putting little columns in. Another thought that I had actually when it comes to Casey and her sort of going forward status in life is that she um, might adopt a kid. Um, I like the idea of her um, adopting a child who is like living on the streets the same way she used to. I know adoption's quite expensive. I think it's like a thousand smolians and she'd need to have in like another bedroom and stuff. But I think that's something that she's going to actually work up to. Uh, even if she doesn't end up in a relationship with someone, I feel like um, adopting is a thing that she would consider to be like, like a goal or a, you know, a way that she can help out others who are living on the street the same way that she used to. I think that that's a thing that she would want to do. So I'm going to, that's going to be something she's going to work towards is um, adopting a child. And obviously you don't get to choose who pops up in the adoption menu, but whichever child she adopts, I'll decide that that is the one that she, you know, someone that she knew while she was living on the street. Um, Cause I feel like that would be like a really good way to, for her to sort of feel like she's atoning to the world for some of her previous behaviour. Um, yeah, so that was my thought. Cool beans. Hello, Jocelyn Blevins, hanging out the front of my house. Let's invite someone over. Let's invite over, not Hilda, she just shows up all the time. Absolutely not Carl. How about this very attractive Armani fellow? I don't know if he'll come. It is like seven in the morning. 
he might be like, who is this weirdo inviting me over at 7 in the morning? Oh, apparently not. I don't know if he's, um, is he townie? He might be. Complain about the director. Oh, that's because she just watched the movie. All right, well, he didn't watch the movie with me, so that would be weird. Let's give him a heartfelt compliment. Brighten his day. I'm going to have a gossip. I'm going to quote a movie scene at him, because he might have seen the movie. Are we, are we having a conversation backwards? Is that what's happening? Flesh? Hando. He's uh, a pretty buddies. attractive sim, this one. I like the kind of hipster chic kind of thing he's got going on there. We'll brighten his day. I think Casey's problem is that she's quite fussy. Uh, declare favourite genre. I'm going to get to know him. Let's have a deep conversation. And... Get to know. There we go. Maybe again. And then I hopefully can discover everything there is to know. Tell me everything about you, Armani. You want to tell me about your career? He's an art lover. That is unsurprising. He looks like he would be. Oh, look, I'm getting positive reputation. <gasps> oh, no, he's evil and unemployed, isn't he? I'm not judging him for being unemployed, but I am judging him for being evil. <laughs> if she's not going to hook up with someone who hates kids, she's not going to hook up with someone who's actually evil. Like, art lover, loves the outdoors, seemed like he was going really well, ticking all her boxes. I mean, she's okay with art. She'd rather sort of have it and sell it, frankly, but eh, but he's evil, no! <laughs> okay, you can maybe go now, Mr. Evil, with your tendency to like, I don't know, torture puppies or whatever. Not ideal. Who was the other one that she met? Carson. Yes, you should get going now, Mr. Evil. Let's send a text to Rory. Because I dig his hair. Rory Hickey. It's an unfortunate surname. This whole episode is going to look like she's super desperate. Because she's like, hey, cute boy. Hey, other cute boy. Let's have breakfast. We're going to have... Eggs on toast. I don't know if they reply to your texts. I've seen other people play the game and they seem to reply, but whenever I send a text, nobody ever replies. Tear. Alright, I'm going to sell some vegetables for cashy money. The other thing I'd like to do is actually find somewhere to put all her frogs. <laughs> she has so many frogs. Um, yeah, that'd be cool. Like some display stands and stuff. Oh, 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 no. Don't set fire to the kitchen. That would be bad. <gasps> no, I don't want to sell my froggy. I could breed the frogs. Let's breed some random frogs with each other. Harvest Fest is coming up. That means that it's been more than a year since she ran away from home. I think. I do seem to remember that that's the case. <gasps> Look, we have Simoleons again. She's basically like a little farmer on her tiny little plot of land. Oh, that's right. I was going to put in those pillars before my balcony collapses. Guess I'm going to try and invite over. Do, 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 do. Keisha's cute. Charlie Blevins. Isn't there a Blevins family? I feel like that's actually a thing. 
Of all the Sims that are in her friendship pain, if I was purely judging on appearance, Olivia Kim Lewis clearly the cutest. Um, but that's okay, because we're after someone compatible. <laughs> Creepy vampire guy. Um, maybe Rory? I just don't know why there's all of this bunting on there. Rory's going to be right over. That's exciting. I think these are all people that um, she hung out with when she was a teenager, when she couldn't socialise with anyone else. And of course, they've all aged up now. So, it's exciting. Like, they're getting to see what she's doing with her life. I feel like she gets to prove to herself that, or prove to them that she's actually sort of made a difference to the way she's living and, like, she's improved herself and stuff. Let's tell him a funny story. We'll get to know him. We will boast about our biggest fish. Tell a joke about penguins. Dude, you rocked up and you were feeling flirty. Do you think this is a booty call? This is not a booty call. Not yet. <laughs> Check her out. Stomp, stomp, stomp. I'm gonna have a gossip. Oh, he's lazy. I meet all the nicest sims. I do dig his hair though. Check him out. Just, I love his, the way he looks. I love his hair. The fact he's named Rory is also obviously very cool because it makes me think of Rory from Doctor Who. But I'm not sure about him turning up feeling flirty. Maybe I am the one who is super judgmental as opposed to Casey. <laughs> that could be a thing, I admit it. Um, I just want the best for our girl. I want her to like, you know, end up with someone who's good for her and compatible with her love of the outdoors and everything. Yay, we've reached charisma level five. Um... Yeah, you shouldn't turn up feeling flirty at my house, dude. Yeah, tell him a gross joke. Let's sit down. Sit and chat. <laughs> oh, she's happy because she's forged a deeper connection with other sims. Um, we're going to talk about handiness. Give some repair tips. Um, someone doing push-ups out my window. We're going to... I want to get to know him again, but the option seems to have disappeared. Confess our fear of vampires. Because frankly, that's fair enough. Um... Have a deep conversation. I love his jacket. Like, the outfit he's wearing is very cool. Um, mean. Right. Mean and lazy. Her dad's mean. She's not up for that. She's not into... Um, Hanging out with mean people. She grew up with mean people and she does not want to do it, live with it again. And he's a loner. Okay, you can go, my friend. Alright, I saw some plants sparkling over here. On the bright side, all of this inviting people over and having a chat to them to get to know them has given her lots of social which is good because normally she only gets social interaction when Hilda drops over or by talking to her plants which obviously is a little bit sad so yeah maybe I need to create Casey a nice boy or girl someone that really meets my exacting specifications for a partner for her Basically someone who's not evil or hate children or mean. I don't feel like I'm asking that much. I don't care if they're a little bit lazy or a little bit of a loner. That's fine. Or gloomy or any of those other negative traits. It's specifically evil and mean and hating children that I have a problem with. Especially given that she's likely to adopt down the track. And I would like her 
not to be with someone who hates kids. Because, you know, that would suck. Um, yeah. Even if I'm the one controlling the sim, like if a sim moved in, in theory, I could control them and they'd just get negative traits and stuff from being around the kids. But, yeah. I just... I think she would rather be alone than be with someone who was toxic. Um, having come from a family where her dad is verbally abusive and very unpleasant to be around um, and her mum's not a great person either. So I just, yeah, I don't think, I'm not going to choose that for her basically is what I'm saying. So, I don't think there's anyone else in her relationship tab that I would consider inviting over. It was Rory and Amani. Obviously, she's mates with Hilda. I guess we could invite Carson to hang over? This is going to be the last one. This is going to be like a three kind of, I'm not going to say blind dates because they're not, but, you know, me, talking to three different sims to see, in fact, four, because I think we also talked to, what was her name? Although, that, actually, I think that was the last part. Talked to the pretty one. Where did she go? The Kim Lewis girl. Um, yeah, I thought that I this part is just going to be basically hanging out, talking to different people, and seeing, you know, if there's a chance of her being you know, finding someone who would be, like, a soulmate or whatever. Um, the problem is that I think that that sim, the sim that she gets on the best with is actually Hilda. And obviously, like I previously said, her and Hilda are more like siblings than they are anything else. So, yeah. I feel like I'm rambling a lot. I don't know if you can tell, guys, I'm a little bit... Ooh, Furium, I don't know what that is. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little bit sick and... I think it's making me ramble a little bit. <laughs> so, yay. All right, I'm going to sell that as well. Perfectly preserved moustache. Excellent. All right, last time, last attempt to see if she can um, meet someone that she could, you know, other than Hilda, that she could get on with. We'll see. Oh, she ran all the way back and he's not here. Are you coming over? You said you were. He said he was going to come over and then he didn't. He did say that, right? Carson Kaplan will be right over. He does say that. So, obviously, his definition of right over. Oh, here we go. Is this him over here? Gosh, he looks young. I know he's a young adult, but he really looks like a teenager. Right, let's get to know him. Let's do it right out of the gate. He's thinking about being a high achiever. Hey. I'm going to brighten his day. I'm going to discuss interests. Oh, Ask about well, his career. <laughs> Fire him <laughs> up. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused. Okay. What's happening? Um, actions. Add to group. Let's go here together. Because obviously you're having a bit of a glitch. Now we'll ask about your career. No? Okay, this is weird. Oh, he's a junior tinkerer. At Future Sim Labs. Uh, Alright, now we'll fire him up. Talk about the best, babe. Um, get to know. Oh, this is doing good things for her negative reputation, actually. Just like talking to everyone and being friendly and generally hanging out with people and not being mean. I think it's the friendly interactions. Most about the biggest catch. Oh, he's neat. So that's good. Hates children. Does every sim in this universe hate children? Like, seriously. 
I don't well, understand. <laughs> I'm sorry, Carson. You seem very nice. You do. Uh -huh. And he's an art lover. What is it about art lovers? Seriously. Well, that's a little bit disappointing. Why do they all hate children? Is it Casey? Does she attract kid haters? Do they look at her tattoos and, I don't know, think, hey, she must really hate children like me. Now he's apparently going for a jog. So I'm going to just take him out of my group. <laughs> that's it I'm giving up all right guys I'm gonna end this part here obviously Casey is destined to be unlucky in love forever and you know what I'm kind of okay with that I feel like she's someone who doesn't need a partner it would be nice for her I guess yeah you can go now um but yeah she doesn't need it so oh Hilda wants to come over I just went to bed Hilda um Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this part, please leave a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.